a quick trip. <laughs> Hopefully we find some pillows that just had stuff like that. So hard to focus in here. Look at these jute puffs. These are so good. I don't know if I have a use for them, but they're really good. Okay, I'm seeing so much good stuff in here today. Look at these lamps. I love them. All the woven stuff. Also love this. Again, for tan. Like, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, they have so many of the poops. I love them. I wish I had, like, chairs that needed ottomans in front of the, them. I would get these. They're so good. Okay, why do I love these? The navy. Like, when you first walk in, if my desk wasn't there, these would be so good. Like, this is perfect for the bathroom. But we can't get the drawers out. They are, like, stuck. Well, and it's rickety. But it's perfect. <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday morning and I have some explaining to do. All right. Oh man, you guys, what a freaking weekend. I thought I'd make this a weekend vlog and then quickly was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen because we are in our hosting era this weekend. If you <laughs> Like getting down because I didn't vlog at all with anyone, but I knew that I wasn't gonna want to because we barely see um, Max's big group of buddies from Brown, all his teammates, and um, we usually see them like honestly once a year at Memorial Day weekend. And yeah, it was so nice to have everyone here. So what you did see on Friday was us running around. We were like literally did five loads of laundry all day getting all sheets bedding ready for everyone and so much happened on friday we i didn't even show but i'll show you guys later we had a task rabbit come and build a day bed up on the third floor which is a perfect timing because i freaked out the week before and was like oh my gosh last night we have three of his buddies and their girlfriends like three couples coming to stay with us i want three cozy rooms for everyone i'm really just in my hosting era if i said that and um yeah but it's been so fun so friday I had a task rabbit come and build the bed just in time <clears throat> and then you guys saw our trip to home goods because i was like okay i need like a duvet insert and pillows and like certain things like that and then i was like getting distracted looking at lamps and like needed bathroom storage but that thing <laughs> I'm so like, I'm not done and I want it done now. Like I'll just settle and get that little thing that I thought was so cute but that you couldn't even pull the drawers out there like stuck. And Max and Chase were like, Christian, no, like don't. But I'm like, no, I just wanted to be done. So <clears throat> that was Friday and got all together, had everyone stay with us. And then yesterday, why everyone came into town is one of Max's best friends actually proposed to his girlfriend yesterday and, um, we had like a big engagement party to go to so everyone came for that and it was so much fun but i'm happy i didn't like vlog or bring my vlog camera because i'm like i'm not <laughs> gonna just start but you know like it was just very like just like personal life you know with all my friends and it was so much fun and we like, had a dinner friday night and then yesterday engagement party and we're all like exhausted like just like out in the sun all day like standing and ended up at a bar and then we actually ended up here back here last night out by the fire pit it was so much fun so yeah i can't everyone was like out this morning because everyone came from so far I had like literally nine hour drives to toronto we're like whoa so yeah i'm just so happy i'm feeling so blessed that we were able to have like six people stay with us and i am so like i'm sure i'll get used to it but i'm obviously like this is new to me having a house hosting and so like to everyone i'm like are you sure you have everything you need like i'm just like learning things here and there i'm like the towels are in here if you need an extra blanket it's here like like we got a bunch of water bottles for everyone and have we did that like little things like that i'm like i just want everyone to be like settled and good i don't know why i get so like worried like i never want because you know when you like stay places and you're like oh i'm freezing there's not a blanket or like i don't have water you know like i just want everyone to be good so it was so good and yeah literally everyone like just left and we've been like stripping the beds getting it all back together so i figured what i initially thought was like oh maybe i can do a weekend vlog i'm like i'm not gonna vlog at someone else's engagement party you know like they need up their moment i'm not gonna be like everyone smile for my vlog you know um so i figured this could just end up being like a sunday reset kind of vlog which is perfect and exactly what we need after like a really 
how social being and I need a coffee so bad. Um, yeah, good morning. Sorry, I'm chatting so much here. It's Sunday morning and we're just gonna whip this place back into shape and see where the day takes us. Actually, it's crazy that it's getting so sunny right now because we all woke up this morning to the loudest thunderstorm. It was like the loudest bangs. We we're like, sorry everyone, don't be alarmed. There's been like kind of crazy thunderstorms this summer and our one friends couple that stayed up on the third floor i'm like i'm so sorry we kept saying they're up in the penthouse <laughs> we're like the penthouse is probably really loud like the high ceilings and all windows we're like oh my gosh so yeah <laughs> so eventful but um oh and you guys i'll show you up there but basically it's so right up there and there's no what are these called blinds like there is on every other window but on the third floor there isn't and i'm like you guys are gonna be up early they're like no no it's fine i'm like no no no. 5 30 a.m comes along it is like bright as day like it literally looks like noon they're like we'll be fine i'm like no no i'm gonna find you i'm asking if you need them and they're like Gretchen, we underestimated you thank god you guys those eyes i'm asking like, we needed them like they literally like we looked at our phones and we're like oh it's definitely like nine o'clock nope <laughs> 5 30 because we're facing east. It's just so bright in the morning. But anyway, it was dark today because it was kind of showing me now. It's turning sunny, I suppose. So I'm chatting so much. I need to zip it. My camera's dying. We are going to go get coffee and yeah, I'll probably keep cleaning later, just like vacuuming, getting, ready, getting everything back together. You know, all ready to go get coffee. Wearing this gray set from Free People, which I love. I wore it traveling to Montauk and it's like, just the comfiest set, Sunday little set, travel set. And I actually just got these socks in the mail. I just opened them up from Amazon. I can link them for you guys because I think like they're the perfect height. Like I always want ones that are just like little ankle socks. And um, shout out my friend Sydney. I think I swiped up on Sydney's story. You got influenced. Yeah, I was influenced. Love you, Sydney. Miss you. And was like, wait, those are exactly what I'm looking for. I think I've always seen the Aritzia ones and I've wanted them, but I've never like taken that time to order them. But then since she had them like they just like and order them right then there. I'm like, yeah, I've wanted socks like that. Max's return going on behind me. Poor Max never knows his shoe size. <laughs> You're a different shoe size in every shoe. <laughs> but yeah, this is my little fit. And oh, and these sneakers have only worn a couple times. I got them from Free People as well, but um, I don't think they're on there anymore. But aren't they cute? I feel like they have a bunch like similar though. New Balance has like a ton like this. So I think you're so cute. Okay, we are off to Lighthouse. I'm so excited. Oh, also Brody's not here, which I didn't say. Um, so we have to go get him too from Max's mom. Since you watched him yesterday, since we knew we were gonna be gone for like 12 hours at this engagement party, um, so it's really nice having her close by, so that Brody doesn't have to like sit here all day or you know so yeah that's my plan so cute in here there's always like so much to look at you know <laughs> we got a scone display you guys it's like maple pecan it's so good and then my coffees, we have a, we have a sandwich and then two other little ones coming. <laughs> we each are hungry. <laughs> I just have to say, this oat milk vanilla, iced vanilla oat milk latte is so good. And it wasn't my favorite, it was Old Kings or Nirvana, but this might be better. Because I don't know why here I've always just gotten cold brew oat milk. But today I got the latte, I don't know if I have before, and it's literally delicious from here. The blue straw makes it better too. Sometimes Doug can the blue straw. Wow, this is gonna be We miss you. He picked up our dog. Did you miss us? <laughs> Bodhi. I was just saying I'm so attached. I feel like part of my heart is missing when he's not around. <laughs> you didn't seem to really miss me. <laughs> Alrighty, where did we leave off? I think, oh, at Lighthouse, and then we got Brody, and then I honestly laid outside for a bit, read, and just unboxed a bunch of packages. This is one of them. It's from Elwood Clothing. I got like two hoodies and then sweat shorts and sweatpants. It's so cozy. I wanted to try these out for a while. I love like the style. This is so small, but I love this like style of the ribbed sleeves and down here. And I always saw 
shout out Cindy Till and if you guys follow Cindy Till she always um I said Cindy Till I think of her Instagram handle is Cindy Tilt but um she was telling me how they're her favorite hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff so anyway I'm excited about this I've just been cozy and in hindsight I should have showed you guys I went to the packages I was opening it's just been a Sunday just catching up on things tidying flipping the laundry I got a vacuum um yeah getting this place back together that's what I've said and I was just hiding in our room a bit. So right now is a perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much Brooklinen for working with me in this video. You guys didn't know, I'm sure most of you do know, my most favorite sheets are from Brooklinen. If you guys didn't know already, Brooklinen is a luxury sheets company and they just have really high quality home goods to elevate your home. Like their bedding, bath towels, etc. are literally all of my favorites. And just the whole idea behind Brooklinen is that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials at a fair price. They are the best. I've had the Lux Hardcore Bundle, in case you're wondering, for so long now. And these sheets legit get softer with each wash, you guys. I have like fitted sheet, top sheet, duvet cover, pillowcases, and couldn't recommend that bundle enough because it's like everything you need and just the like most luxurious sleep of your life, okay? Any of our guests that stay here in the Brooklyn Inn sheets are like, what sheets are these? <laughs> Send me a link, girl. I must buy these because they are just so soft, cozy feeling, luxurious like I said. I'm just so glad that I invested in such high quality sheets since they get softer with each wash. Look great, feel great. I know there's over 20 patterns and colors to choose from to fit the vibe you want for your room. I just love like a classic white bed look as we can tell. And yeah, just thinking about my home coming into it, I really want it to feel so zen, relaxing, cozy and making my space like just feel cozy and putting again like investing into like high quality pieces, putting a little bit more effort in has made it feel so like just therapeutic in like getting things for my home, but also just like a form of self-care, if you guys know what I mean. Like just coming in here at the end of a long day, I'm like, oh, it's just so relaxing. And yeah, I just could not recommend their sheets enough. Like I said, you have the Lux Hardcore Bundle, which you actually save 25% by doing the bundle because it comes with the sheet set, like the flat fitted sheet, the fit, <laughs> The flat one right here, fitted sheet, pillowcases, then it also comes the duvet cover and then an extra set of pillowcases. So you save 25% instead of buying the things separately. And if I didn't say the Lux Hardcore Bundle is just their like Lux Satine sheets, which I know are their top seller because they're like not too warm, not too cold. They're like cooling so you're not hot when you sleep, but just feel like you guys just have to get them for yourself to feel how soft and cozy they are. But I know they have like so many different types of sheets. That's just personally my favorite out of the ones I've tried, but they have like cashmere ones, cotton ones per cal I think is how you say so they have like a ton to choose from now and right now I know Brooklyn Inn is having their staycation sale so you'll get 15% off through August 31st at Brooklyn Inn link down below if you guys want to I guess just have a really cozy home to return to if you're not traveling just want to make your bed feel like a staycation <laughs> and have it feel like it literally feels like hotel bedding like it feels like you crawl into a hotel bed and it's just like the best feeling that's what it feels like so yes again put in link down below you get 15 percent off through august 31st and now <laughs> you guys won't believe what's happening don't look at my clothes folded over there it's a mess I like how it's like, oh, we're just resetting and settling in on this Sunday. It's gonna be early night. I'm gonna read, get cozy. The hosting era continues, okay? Because Max and I just came up with this plan since his sister's boyfriend's visiting and it's just like a beautiful Sunday night. We're like, you know what? We should host his family and invite them over for dinner to grill and I wanna make my Greek salad that I've been loving. So the hosting continues. We're like, we're finally, like, it's just two of us, we can relax. And now I'm like, okay, I gotta like go change it, and get, get this together. I thought it was gonna be my comfy clothes all night. But I'm like, I should probably put on a dress and get this place like a little cute. I've been tidying all day anyway, so that's been good. But now I'm like, okay, people are coming. <laughs> oh yeah, the hosting never ends. A little dinner party, it's gonna be great. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, I'm screaming whenever we're like, we'll just have like a chill night in. We always end up making plans. I literally just threw this together in the last two minutes since I just vlogged. Threw on a dress, 
keep my hair in a clip. I'm not really gonna do makeup. I curl my eyelashes. Is that count for something? And put on a little lip gloss. That's what I try to do. <laughs> Look a little bit together when I'm not putting on makeup and like put my eyelashes lip gloss. But it always starts with like, wow, it's so nice that like we should grill tonight. We're like, oh, we should wait. I don't know why we've been loving grilling like hot Italian sausage and I love making my Greek salad like almost with it. Sometimes we put the sausage on top or like on the side with like mustard. It's so good. That's been our food fixation recently. So then it like starts with that. We're like, okay, let's do that. Like that's been so yummy. And then we're like, oh, well we should have them over. And we're like, yeah, let's just have everyone over. Let's like host a little bit tonight, have a dinner party. Maybe we'll do some more. And we're like, do we do a pasta? Do we do dessert? And we're like, can we just like chill for a second? We don't know how to chill. <laughs> but it's so nice having his family nearby. It's like so much fun. It, yeah, it has turned into such a beautiful evening. It was like thunderstorming this morning, like I said. And then it's been so nice today, so. Yes, but I want to show you guys upstairs. I think I was telling you earlier how the task rabbit came and built the David, but I haven't even showed you yet. So let's go. I can't wait for you guys to see. Here she is. Whoa, I'm <laughs> Here she is in all her glory. Don't look over here. None of that's staying there. That's like a blow up mattress, air mattress that was here before. These drawers need to move. There's just like junk, so just ignore that, okay? We're just gonna go like that. <laughs> so pretty much, I can like link, well, I was saying link the reel in the description. I don't know why that would help you. You can just see right here. But basically I saw an Instagram reel. I can't remember if I saw an Instagram reel or TikTok first, but I think it was initially TikTok of a girl who was like, this is perfect for small spaces, which I don't know if you can tell, but right here is kind of like an awkward space, like not really big enough for the pull-out couch we had. That was the whole ordeal. And so it's a day bed because it's pretty small this way, like just the size of like a twin bed, but then fully slides out to be like a king bed, like doubles in the size. And the reason I loved it so much is because typically all the trundle beds I found like a twin and then it pulls out and then like a level lower is another twin bed on the ground but like for two people I want them like especially a couple like I want them to be able to be in like a big comfy bed like I don't want them to feel like you know in like twin beds so when I saw this I'm like this is the only and then I started researching like trundle beds that kind of like pull out and are like one flat level if that makes sense and this is like the only one so this is actually from Ikea believe it or not I could not believe my eyes and like this is so smart and I couldn't believe that I didn't find and I couldn't find another one that does this so every other furniture company needs to do this where I guess I can show you but I kind of just put it all back together so I don't really want to show you but I mean you know what that's why I'll link the reel in the description so you guys can see what it looks like. Literally, it's so easy. It just slides all the way out to like here. And then the two like thin mattresses are up on top of each other. And you just put one right here. Also got a mattress pad that I put on top to make it even more comfy because they're kind of like thin mattresses. But then um, I'll get better decorative pillows too because these are obviously just the pillows that I got for our guests to see here. And then I have um, a duvet right here. This is actually another <laughs> Brooklyn Inn duvet cover this is their um heathered cashmere one which you can't really tell by uh seeing it i don't think but i wish you guys could feel it's just like really soft so yes that's what's up here i don't think it's gonna stay like this i can make this better but it's just kind of cozy right now and i'm like what a cute spot i love that it folds up like this small because it just makes it feel more open i love this rug that we have from rugs usa I believe I can link that too. And again, this is such a tight spot. It was so hard to find a rug that would fit here. This almost looks too small for this space. It was actually like the biggest one I could get because it couldn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> it could have been like longer this way. I could just find like a square one, but no, it looks so cute. And I could just see me like reading up here. I'll get cuter like throw pillows. We just found these at Home Goods, and I could see more color, you know, like a white and blue like pillow. We could just make it feel kind of like a couch. So yeah, that's the day bed situation. I'm so happy happy about it and it's just like really comfy like this is great I could just see myself curling up up here reading hanging out and we haven't been able to make use of the space because if you guys remember pull out couch that I thought was gonna fit up here the movers couldn't get it up here and then I thought do we get a crane and then it's it's a lot wider than this so it doesn't really work with like the bathroom right there. Yeah, so this is just way better. You can see down into our backyard. And it's just like such a cool hangout spot up here. So I'm really happy about this. And I'm happy that Instagram and TikTok literally stalks you and knows exactly what you need. I'm like, what are the odds that this popped up? And it was so perfect. And yeah, we were also saying we could like change the hardware if we felt like it. That's like, I mean, not that deep at all, but it's just so perfect. And I love it. So I just thought this would be good to mention to you guys if you have a small space or like second bedroom or something and you kind of want it as like a couch day bed situation but it pulls out if you've guessed staying this is such a good solution for a small space not totally done up here but 
coming together. This also, I probably will get chairs to put here, like comfy chairs. This was an entryway console we had in our last place that literally had nowhere to go here. So I just put it right here. And I thought if we're like walking around up here chatting, people could like put their drinks on this. Just here for the time being. I'm not like obsessed with it there. Same with that. That's like an extra rug. There's always like a lot going on. I love that I covered this over here and couldn't be window see. I could also see us like reading on here. Also like two people could easily fit on this. It's very long, all the workout stuff that we could probably find a better solution for. Still so happy about the countertops. Pinch me, they look so good and I'm just obsessed. There was little things, it was fun having guests up here cause like we realized we can't turn this light off like we don't know how. So they covered it with a blanket and we wore them. I think I told you guys how it gets so bright in here in the morning. Yeah, I definitely am having to. Whoa, am I okay? Like I. <laughs> I was spell walking up the stairs. I just ran into this. Sorry, Brody. It's <laughs> loud noises. I think I just heard it running. <laughs> I can't. Um, I was saying how we gave them eye masks because you can see how bright it is up here and like no curtains on anything. So it's been good getting feedback from our guests. Here they are. I'm gonna like leave these nearby for whenever we have guests up here. They're just gonna be like on their pillows and be like, trust me, you need these. <laughs> By the way, this dress wish I could link for you guys, but I remember when I got it in Rhode Island, I could not find a link for it at all. And you guys were like, what is linked to this? All I know is the brand is Madison Matthews. I got it at a boutique there and I could not find it on their website when I looked. So if any of you guys have the link, let me know. But it's just this like blue and white seersucker dress. So comfy, stretchy, easy to throw on when you just want to be comfy and <laughs> you have to throw something on really quick. Also, I want to show you guys in my hosting era, don't mind the trash. There's just always so much going on and it's so hard to keep it clean. Um, okay. The new countertops, we're still not over them, we still love. And what I wanted to show you is this little basket I actually got from Home Goods when we were just there. And I love the idea of it on the counter right here. It's like a little centerpiece, lit to one of my favorite candles. Shout out Jenica. You guys know Jenica and Annika. I love you so much, Jenica. She got me this candle as a housewarming present and it smells delicious. It's so, so good. Jenica Thompson, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about. And yeah, love her. I haven't seen her in a minute and I miss her. And these are, I don't know, I'm giving you like a whole tour right now. Uh, forget what they're called. There's those, those dried florals that last forever. Shout out my bestie, Hannah. She got me these literally two or three years ago in Allentown. They're still going strong. I've taken care of them because I love them. And these cute little napkins from Taylor. Just all my friends, all my people. Got me covered, all the housewarming things, more housewarming gifts over there. They're so sweet. So yeah, just with my hosting here, I'm like, we want some cute napkins. We want the cute centerpiece. We want the candle that smells good. And I think I told you guys already, but our stools have come in clutch ever since we got these little cushions. I like them so much more and I just like them so much more with the light countertop. I just feel like they go really well, um, but it was perfect timing for we had a bunch of people here this weekend that we got these all squared away. And if you guys didn't see my last vlog where I was talking about it, I'm having deja vu, so I know I explained, but I'll tell you quickly. Basically, we got these stools from Wayfair. They're the Serena and Lily like dupes, if you will which are so, so incredibly similar to the Serena and Lily ones because I've seen the Serena and Lily ones in person and they are like quite literally the same except the Serena and Lily ones have some gold detailing on the stools. The only other thing is the version we got didn't come with cushions so they just came like this, which I liked but I just thought it would be more comfy for people if they had the white cushions. So these I actually ordered on Serena and Lily um, and I just really like them. I feel like they're high quality ones with the sticky on the bottom so they don't move around. Only thing is they didn't come with inserts. You can't buy the entire cushion, you can only buy the cover. So I got resourceful and bought like a one inch foam sheet and cut them to fit perfect as a little cushion insert. And they're lovely, we love them. They've been so comfy, got great reviews <laughs> from all our friends. And yeah, that's the update. <laughs> okay, a couple of things I can show you guys before I vacuum, I need to vacuum is these packages that I left over here. You guys will not believe the amount of Poppy that was sent to me. Shout out Poppy, I love you. Are you kidding me? I think they know I'm their number one fan. I think my favorite of all time, if I have to pick one, you guys, is the Raspberry Rose. It's so, so good over a cup of ice. Mmm, so refreshing. They're like the best. I'm not even that much of a drink girl. I feel like these days I am. I feel like Poppy got me into drinks. Like I always just drink water now. I'm like, ooh, a Poppy, a nice tea, a Diet Coke, you know? And they're just so 
good. It's definitely better for you than all the preservatives and junk and Diet Coke. And it's just like, you guys know the prebiotic soda, good for your gut, all of that. So I love that we're stocked up on this, especially because we've been so social having so many guests here. It's so nice to be able to like offer these. Who doesn't love a poppy? Max just took a root beer one. We go through so many of these. The cola one is so good. The ginger lime, low key is so good with vodka. <laughs> so I can make a mixy, the watermelon. Yeah, we love. So that was a really exciting delivery. Also, so exciting. Um, Thank you, J. Crew. I'm like, what? This is perfect for my coastal grandmother era. Look at me, you guys, all grown up in my seersucker, my striped cardigan era with like the gold. This is gonna be so cute with white shorts, white jeans. We love. Could you just got back from the store. Perfect timing. Hi, Dranges. Yeah, let's what? do a little haul, shall we? A quick Trader Joe's Man. run. Butter lettuce. Almond. Yum. Recent date. Spring mix. I figured I'd Broccoli. try this. Oh, creamer. Brown oh, shrimp. That stuff's good. Have you not had this before? Nope. Oh, it's really good. Also to go with before. more brown sugar. Oh yeah, we need it. We're out. I forgot we were out. I always do my I got lattes. sour cream for uh, egg burrito with salsa. Yum. Feta. Yep. The king Good salad. Bandits. Wait, tell them what the king is. They don't know that. They don't know. <laughs> Sausage. What Max is? Not Max's family. Just Max and Jay's. Oh, my favorite. Favorite. A tomato. Okay, why do you call sausage the king? I don't know. Yeah, no one knows. You guys. Uh, now you know. I got all of. I don't know if these are the right ones. Perfect. Greek common olives. Love pitted? it. Yeah, pitted's good. We don't want pits in there. Oh, I thought pitted meant with the pit. <laughs> no, that would say with pits. I think. I think pitted is oh. removed. Pits? Oh, I don't know. All I know is I just recently started liking olives, so I was like, get whatever ones you think. These will be great. Normally I thought, Max, you can literally see there's no pits in there. I always thought I didn't like them, and then recently I ate them in a salad. I'm like, wait, these are low key good. <laughs> They're just like salty and yummy. Is that everything? Apparently. Quick little T Joe's run. We got the Greek salad going. The king. Yum. Chips and salsa. The king. And some hot dogs. The king. <laughs> Everyone just left. And I wanted to show you guys. I always think I make way too much salad. There's like one bite left. How so funny. I'm happy everyone liked. And cause sal like I'm like, oh my gosh, I did way too much lettuce. But there was seven of us. Yeah. So like we all ate it. It was great. That is so funny you just said that because I said that ten times in this vlog. Like we really are. Cause I said right as we were like, oh, we're gonna chill today. We just hosted all weekend. We're like, you know what? We should have people over. But what a good Sunday. And that was honestly good vibes. Um watching golf. We just watched the FedEx something. St. Jude. St. Jude Cup? Yeah. Wait, is it have to do with FedEx or no? Yeah. Oh, St. Jude FedEx Cup? Yeah. Yeah. And this is how much I was paying attention. Donald. No. Nope. Lucas yeah. Glover yeah. won. Why did I say Donald? Wait, I'm screaming. I was like, that sounded so right in my head. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why is my brain <laughs> I'm screaming? Oh, more laundry. It just never ends. <laughs> so many towels. So many oh, man. But that was lovely. And you know what was really a hit? I have to show you guys. These bad boys. They've been my favorite from Trader Joe's. And I passed them around and we like ate the whole bag. Because they're so yummy. Highly recommend. Okay, right as I was trying to earlier, people showed up. 
we do a quick little vacuum in my dress. Hello, it's the next morning and I feel like I've already vlogged so much in this vlog but I want to show you guys one last thing because I feel like I was showing you kind of updates like I showed you the day bed and realized I didn't show you this big update we made to our closet which has made it so much better. Okay, so the big reveal is our closet, I feel like just how it was built was not really maximized for space and we have like three hanging racks. And what Max built is this, a big like shoe rack shelving unit in the back of the closet, which I actually had a closet closet designer from like California closets come over and kind of like spatially do everything, but they wouldn't be able to install until the end of October. We won't even be here, so it didn't seem like a good fit. And there also just is not much you can do. This closet's not that big, but this has already helped a ton with shoes. Max has folded stuff in there, and these obviously can be organized and looked, look a lot better. I have clothes on the ground, don't even look at it. Um, but I feel like this is a really good update. I can link this unit. This is from Wayfair. I can link it in the description. And I'm happy I just read a bunch of reviews. It had a lot of good reviews. And it just fits so perfectly in this space. This is like a Target shoe rack that kind of fit on top that we already had. Our freaking Wi-Fi routers in here. It's like a whole thing. I feel like we can make this a lot cuter. And one of the last things I want to do in here is have like a carpenter. I don't know if that's who would do it. Come install big shelves all along the top of these racks. Which every other closet has it in this house. This one didn't. I don't know why but i think that should be an easy fix and will give us a lot more storage up above so yeah that's the closet update so kind of like messy um still pretty tight for all of our stuff but i actually have my dresses in a whole other closet and we have like our winter sweaters jackets in another closet but for everything else it still feels tight it's like really fill up the space is that get you know so i did want to show you guys this i removed it's nice you can remove the shelves i removed one of them to put those in there and we'll organize and make it cuter but that's the update on the closet. It's much better with this in here, storage wise. So I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, I'll have a Brooklinen link down below and shop their sale while it's still going on. Love ya, and I'll see you in my next video.